guys, welcome to the 30 Paintings in 30 Days project. If you choose to join me on the 30 Paintings in 30 Days journey, I hope that you do share and tag me in posts like on social media and stuff, maybe film some videos, tag me in the description, something like that. Um, I am um, kind of excited about the project. I do do daily drawing. I don't necessarily do daily painting, but making a daily practice out of something like this encourages you to um, get better at it, um, encourages you to work it into your daily routine or weekly routine. Um, it also is a way to use up supplies. So if that's your goal, uh, maybe you don't want to do 30 paintings in 30 days, but you want to do 30 collages in 30 days. That works too. So let me know. Let's get to painting and I'll see you at the end. Okay, guys, we are on to painting number 23. I have my inspiration book out open over there. I've got a page that is inspired by some cactus images and those kind of colors. And we, of course, are ready to go. I'm gonna, no, you know what? I'm gonna leave the plate and we're gonna just, cause you know, why not challenge myself even more than normal? Cause I'm insane. All right, we are gonna start, of course, with doing something with the background. I'm going to grab some cobalt blue out of the floral palette. I'm gonna put some, I'm not, I'm not gonna cover the whole background this time. I'm just gonna cover, cover some of it. Um, this cobalt blue might overpower what we wanna put um, in the foreground, but I also want it to look like it's kind of a uh, cloudy-ish, not completely stark blue sky in the background. So I am just dabbing the paint on and using the paint and or water to just push the color around until I get a suggestive shape for the background that I like. Now we're gonna give it a dry. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with some greens and I think we're gonna start with um, Jane Davenport's Jiminy and of course mix it with what's on here and we are going to just sort of suggest a cactus shape put a little paint and then add a little water and have the pigment go in the direction we want without losing most of those edges Uh, looking at the photo that I have next to me for inspiration and making sure I don't completely <laughs> lose track of what I'm doing, which I can do sometimes. I'm going to switch to a round brush. I think it might be a little easier. I'm going to grab some more of Jiminy. And while this is wet, Add Jiminy as my highlight color. Two parts of the cactus. I'm gonna go in with um, Water Spirit and darken up some of the edges. I'm barely, barely touching my brush to the paper. Again, no digging any holes to China. You don't need to do that. I mean, you can do that. That's a look in and of itself, but I think to get the look you all probably want, you don't need to do that. Okay, then we can go in and soften a few of those lines with water. You have to work kind of fast, otherwise don't put so many lines down. You don't want the paint to dry before you get in there and do your softening if that's what you wanna do. Okay, I wanna add sort of a pink, like sometimes cactuses have these like pink flowers at the top.
I'm going to add a little bit of Frida, which is a dark red. Okay, and then we're going to give that a dry. Okay, we're gonna go in with. Okay, we're gonna go in with some of the neutral tint. I'm gonna mix it with the greens on the palette. And gotta put our thorns in. So just put little X's. I'm going to take a little bit of gouache, not gouache, I'm sorry, a little bit of titanium white. Uh, this is kind of a gouache color. It's a very opaque color. This is an M. Graham tube. We used it in another video. I'm going to use it to bring out some of the highlights. I didn't get enough out of the tube. I need more. All that noise is my husband. Sorry. Okay, before it dries too much, I'm gonna get a damp brush. And that's pretty cute. All right, let's close that tube back up. And let's see what that looks like. There we go, painting number 23. We have finished this journal now, so we will be back with painting number 24 in a new book, and I'll see you in that video. How was that for today's painting? I hope you enjoyed the process, and um, if you want instruction on the painting, you need to be over on Patreon. They are gonna get the talking version. Here on YouTube, you're just gonna get the speed fruit through version, sorry. Um, if you'd like to support the free content here on Facebook or in the, fa uh, here on Facebook, holy cow. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, I certainly would appreciate that. You can of course join Patreon. We do have YouTube membership here for a, a small fee. And, um, also I have an Etsy shop and I have, um, PayPal tip jar and all that stuff. So check out the video description. Relevant links will also be down there. And, uh, yeah, don't forget the most important things. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do share your work with me. I would love to see what you're doing. That's it for now. See you later. Bye, guys.